Good morning guys, welcome to Fair Vlog Day 22. Today is Sunday and it is currently quarter to 11. We were meant to have left 15 minutes ago. Surprise, surprise, we're late. Um, and we are going to Becky and Holly's house today because it's Becky's birthday tomorrow. It was Holly's birthday last week so we're having a little lunch brunch kind of celebration with them um, because they're doing afternoon tea, I think, like late afternoon and we can't make it because I have to go to London tonight for um, a Oscars kind of viewing party thing. I'll talk more about that later. Anyway, I am packing their presents up right now and I wanted to show you guys both what I got them and how I'm wrapping them. So for Holly, um, I'm putting it in this cute little cupcake bag and I have green tissue paper and I've got her, it's a little card, and I got her this notebook from Paper Chase, which I love. I saw this and I was like, I love it so much, I'm gonna buy it as a gift for somebody. But I couldn't buy it for myself because I have, like, I had a notebook at the time, I was like, I can't justify it. And then, yesterday, someone brought me the mini version at a meetup, I was like, you know me so well. Um, so now I have the mini version of this, but this one is for Holly. And then I'm also giving her one of my favorite candles. This is the um, Pomfrit Candle Company Fig and Jasmine candle, which smells yummy. And some Instagram coasters. I really love these and I think she'll like them. So those are going in there for Holly. And then for Becky, I have this box. I've got this stuffing. I need to like have a bit of a play around with it. And then I've got her loads of little things, but I've wrapped some of them up, but then I ran out of paper. So I've got her a card. I've got her this, which is a test your dog's IQ because she just got a puppy. Um, this which is um, Earl Grey flavoured chocolate because she's obsessed with tea. This is like a um, notebook and post-it set with teacups um, and a teapot on it from Paper Chase because she loves tea again. And then I also got her um, a macaroon um, timer, like a kitchen timer. You can hear it dingling, um, which I just thought was really cute because she loves baking. And then I also got her some heart-shaped scourers because we were in the kitchen shop when we got that. And I just thought these were so funny in her. And she lives with her sister, so they have kind of a girly house. And then I also am giving her this um, mug, which is from a really lovely pottery company called Fenella Smith. I bought a load of it for Christmas presents this year, and I just thought it was so cute. And as I mentioned, she likes her tea, so it's a little milk jug. And then I've also got her, the Echo Smith album is in here. And last but not least, um, a car air freshener with a chihuahua on it because her dog that she's just got is like a chihuahua cross and it just, I thought it was funny because it's like the chihuahua's face in a flower. So I'm gonna wrap those up now. We're gonna leave, gonna be a bit late, but I'm hoping they're gonna like their presents. And I don't have any makeup on, I'm gonna have to do something in the car, I think. We're at lunch now and uh, we are having quite a hilarious present opening session. Bexter is here Hello. with a little someone special. Look at this little thing. Oh, she's so cute. This is B, Becky's new puppy. I just and Holly is here too. With Penelope. It's we're having like we are having a pug life, like... She's more interested yeah. in Look at her next to pig, to pig, pig These guys make pig look like a giant. Like an actual giant. Um, and I just, just want to show you as well. Look how much it looks a, like her. An air freshener. <laughs> in a flower. It's you, B. It's it is you. In an air freshener. We've got a snuggly little situation going on here. <laughs> Pig's like struggling to stay awake. B. Little B. Little B. She's like, oh look, they're legs. snuggling. Oh, buddies. The food has arrived. I've got mussels in here. So mussels? You know what mussels look like? Like this. I've never seen and then you put, sauce. yeah, you put the shells in there. Oh, and then really they're bringing nice. chips. Mike's got carbonara, which I'm slightly jealous oh, you know of. You should, I so like red to dip into the sauce. Yeah, I might steal Mike's. Yeah, um, this burger looks pretty good. That's Stilton in it as well. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Your little dog. He's like, <laughs> just like, woken yeah, up. Just like, um, like and Hull's got. They all say fish and chips. Fish and chips on a Monkey Sunday afternoon. On my lap, so. She's Hopefully. in Hopefully camouflage. Yeah. I am so hungry. This looks so yummy. I'm home now. I've just kind of got changed and I've packed my stuff because I had to go to London. Rubbish. But tonight I'm doing an Oscars red carpet viewing party where we like comment on all the clothes which is super exciting with E. Um, I did it for the Golden Globes a couple of weeks ago and it was really fun. So yes, I have my bag packed here and the puppies know that I'm going somewhere and they get like, mm, you're taking me, you're taking me. I've just arrived at my hotel and it's probably the most miserable day. I don't think it's raining anymore but it has been super, super windy and rainy and it's taken me like 
45 minutes to get here from Houston. So I thought we'd do a quick hotel room tour before I get changed and get ready and finish editing everything. This is my room, I have my bed, as you can see, all my stuff on my bed and my case and a little desk with a TV and there's me and then there's some cupboards. There's me again, hello. Um, and then this is the bathroom, which I haven't actually been in here yet. Pretty standard bathroom. Um, yeah, so I also bought some food on the way here. They usually have snacks. I've done this once before for the Golden Globes and they did have snacks last time. So I didn't get like anything too big. Also, I had a massive lunch as well. So um, I ended up eating like quite a bit of my pasta. Um, so I got some popcorn. I got some fruit, which is like my standard thing, and surprise, surprise, a protein pot. You know what, I just realised that I forgot salt. I always put salt on the eggs, and that makes me extremely sad. Like, extremely sad. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I'm ready to go now, and I thought I would do a really quick um, makeup and outfit of the day. Before I go, last time I went to one of these, I was a little bit less dressed up, and I got there, and everyone was pretty dressed up so I've dressed up a bit more this time but I still haven't gone like all out like some people had like long dresses on and stuff and I just think I don't know it was pretty casual vibe so I feel like I'm kind of halfway in between and I'm liking it um so I just have messy hair I just put sprayed like a load of texturizing spray in it and it's just kind of textury and big and yeah good um and then I have on my blush is probably a little kind of done this in the dark a little bit um because the lighting in this room is not great um i have on some individual lashes from isla and my chanel foundation with nars i think it's orgasm blush and then my lipstick is sheer liar from urban decay i have on a bit of estee lauder eyeliner and um makeup forever smoky lash mascara um and that's pretty much it oh and the tom ford brow stuff in my brows um and then my outfit looks a little something like this if it will focus um, i'm gonna put my hair out of the way so you guys can see but i basically have on a kind of all black outfit with um a pop of color in my bag so uh, my bag is my philip lim pashley in the metallic turquoise color which i really love and then i have on this zara blazer which has the kind of faux leather collar and it also has like a faux leather detail on the pockets as well which i really like and then for jewelry i just have on a load of chunky bracelets together which have actually marked my arm. I think I've been lying on them. The two bigger ones are from Zara and the two little ones are from And Other Stories. And then my dress is from the Couples. The mirror is like really dirty. It's making my clothes look dirty but it is the hotel mirror. Um, my dress is from the Couples. I'm just gonna take my jacket off so you guys can see. This is what my dress looks like. If I tuck my hair back you guys can see the straps. It's kind of like a really unusual um, design and I really like it because it's wasted. I love my dresses this shape because I think they're a little bit more flattering on my figure um, and I also really like the leather studded straps and this is real leather as well and as you can see it goes over onto the back which I really like. I actually got this in the sale I think it was reduced from maybe £240 or something to 80 and then for my shoes I'm wearing these little shoe boots which these are actually my first ever pair of designer shoes. I got these I don't know if I can show you guys upside down. They'll be upside down in this vlog, but there they are. They are from um, Jimmy Choo, and I got them seven years ago from Mike. I've just got a text from my cab saying it's here, so I better go. Um, but yeah, I'll take you guys along with me. I'm not sure how much I'll be able to film, but hopefully a little bit. So I am at the E red carpet Oscars party with the lovely Victoria from in the front and Sammy is here as well. We are looking at, well, no sleds have really been on yet, have they? There's no one really there. Um, but we're waiting for them and we're gonna talk about their clothes, which I'm like really, really looking forward to. There's also a lot of beef jerky here, which is probably one of my favorite things in the world. I think I've had about six pieces already, but don't tell anyone. So it's over, I had such a good night. I've just snuck off into a corner. This is where we are right now. I wanted to show you guys. We're in the Mondrian Hotel in London, which is beautiful. The bar is here, it's like gold, and there is the most incredible view of London. You can see St. Paul's Cathedral, and just an amazing view of the river. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I've actually stayed in the Mondrian in New York and in LA, which I think I've vlogged both of them in the past, and I've never been to the London one, which is just open, so it's been really cool to be here. It's been super fun. Now I'm going back to my hotel. 
I probably have popcorn in my teeth because I've been eating a lot of popcorn tonight. So I'm back in my hotel room in my slightly less sophisticated get up of my fleecy pyjamas and I'm wearing my penguin um, pyjama bottoms from Christmas. I'm just so cool. <laughs> Not. Um, so yeah, I had such a good night. It was really fun actually. I definitely think um, Rosamund Pike smashed it on the red carpet. I think she was probably my favourite dress. It's really, really fun doing these things because you get to, I don't know, like, I feel like at home I wouldn't stay up and watch. I'd always look first thing in the morning when I get up at the um, dresses and stuff, but it's, like, so nice to actually watch it live and um, it's really fun. And I had a good time with Victoria and Sammy as well. They're so nice. And, yeah, I'm going to go to bed now. I'm actually going to try and stay up a little bit and see if I can catch any of, not actually watch the ceremony, but see if I can catch anyone winning because, obviously, there's a lot of British people nominated this year. I really want to see... Um, if any of them win tonight, it would be super cool if they did. I'm gonna take my makeup off, I'm gonna go to bed. My camera just ran out of battery and now I'm having to film on my iPhone. So this means I'm gonna have to film on my iPhone for the next day as well. So I'm sorry for the bad quality, guys. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I have my first test to see if I can have laser eye surgery on my eyes. If you guys have been following me for a while, you will know that's not only and am I always doing this and at night, if I film at night, my eyes are always really red because I get really irritated by contact lenses, but also that I've been thinking about um, getting laser surgery for a long time. So I have my first appointment tomorrow um, at the London Vision Clinic on Harley Street, and I'm gonna see what they say. Apparently it's gonna take three hours for the consultation, which seems like a lot, and I might have blurry vision afterwards because they put these eye drops in, apparently. Um, but we will see tomorrow and see what happens. Um, yeah, that's it for tonight, guys. Hope you all had an amazing weekend, and I will see you again tomorrow with another vlog. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the 21st day of FebVlog. Today we are going to Kent. Blue Water, to be more specific, which is a big shopping centre in Kent to do the final book signing. I'm really sad because I've been really enjoying this week. It's been